Hi there folks, welcome to my channel. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Michael. Um, today I'm going to be taking you through a nice gentle flow. Uh, nothing too strenuous, some nice stretches for the body, no stretch for the whole of the body. But just we're going to ease our way in nice and gently, just movement with the breath, taking it nice and easy. We're going to use no props, uh, so let's come down to our mat. We're going to start on the back of the body, so lying down on the floor. So coming down onto the back of the body, we're going to place the soles of the feet onto the floor with bent knees, and just allowing the back of the body to become comfortable. And let's rest our hands gently onto the belly. So just taking a moment to close or soften the eyes, and just allow the body to soften into the floor, relax into the soles of the feet. Uh, let's gently close or soften the eyes, just taking the awareness inside the body. Since we allow everything to gently settle down, we can just take a moment to tune into the physical body, just noticing how the body's feeling. So aware of any areas that feel tight, any areas of tension. Uh, just beginning to tune into the natural movement of the breath. So that natural feeling of expansion and contraction. As we begin to breathe in and out of the nostrils, and as we slowly begin to deepen the breath. So notice as we begin to slow the breath down, that brings a calming sensation to the whole of the body. Just tuning into that element of rest. So we allow the central nervous system to settle and to switch into that nice rest and digest response. We can have that soft lift of the pelvic floor as we gently draw the belly in towards the spine. And from here beginning to deepen our breathing, so beginning to extend our inhale and beginning to deepen the exhale. And let's gently draw the knees in towards the body. Have a little rock from side to side. Just releasing any tension in the lower back. Maybe creating some circles down in the lower body, some little spirals. And back in the other direction. And let's begin to draw the right knee in towards the body as we lower the sole of the left foot to the floor with a bent knee. We're going to take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And as we exhale, we're going to draw that right knee in towards the body. Option here to lift the head and shoulders off the floor, if that feels comfortable. Keeping the shoulders down, away from the ears. And just easing into that right hip. Nice steady breath. So relaxing the muscles of the face, keeping the jaw and the eyes nice and soft. Uh, let's gently release the head and shoulders down. Let's place the outside of that right ankle on top of the left thigh. We can ease that right knee away from the body as we float the left foot, reaching our hands through, catching hold of the shin. And we're going to draw that knee in as we lift the head and shoulders. We want to be pressing into the right heel here, keeping that leg nice and engaged. And again, shoulders down away from the ears. Just gently drawing the belly in. Nice soft breath. Really ease into the lower body. And let's gently lower the left foot down. We can take our arms nice and wide, take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna soften the legs over to the left. So the sole of that right foot might come all the way down to the floor. And then we're gonna take our gaze over to the right. So a nice spiral through the center of the body. Down into the hips, breathing deeply into the belly. So allowing the breath to find its way around that rotation. Bring the head back to the center, breathe in as we draw the legs in. Unravel that right foot. Let's hug the knees in, little rock from side to side. 
foot doing the same on the other side so this time lowering the right foot down to the floor catch a hold of the left knee take a deep breath in and as we exhale let's hug that knee in towards the body so again option here to lift the head and shoulders off the floor keeping the shoulders away from the ears and just drawing the belly in this nicely nice bit of releasing tension down into that left hip Breathing nice and smooth, keeping the face nice and relaxed. Let's lower the head and shoulders down. Outside edge of that left ankle on top of the right thigh. And gently ease the left knee away from the body before floating the right foot. Catching a hold of the right shin and drawing that leg in. Again, maybe lift the head and shoulders. And then just holding it here nice and steady. Relax the jaw, soften the eyes. So we can notice tension that begins to gather in the face. We can keep these areas nice and soft. And it's slowly, gently lower the right foot down. Take the arms nice and wide, take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, let's soften the legs over to the right this time. Sole of that left foot might come all the way down and then taking our gaze over to the left. So again, nice lower body twist here. So allowing that breath to deepen allowing the breath to move through the rotation nice soft movements and let's inhale as we bring the legs back to the center unhook the leg draw the knees in towards the body little rock from side to side and let's rock all the way up onto all fours so coming onto our hands and our knees Elbows and wrists balanced below the shoulders, knees balanced below the hips, moving through our cat-cow stretches, taking a deep breath in through the nose, and as we exhale, we're going to round into the spine as we draw the navel in and gaze through the knees. As we breathe in, let's draw the belly down, roll the shoulders back and look forward. And as we exhale, gently round into the spine. Let's do this a few more times in line with your own breath. As we breathe in, we draw the belly down. Roll the shoulders back, take the gaze forward, and as we exhale, round into the spine as we gently chuck the chin in towards the chest. Nice steady movements. Option here to close the eyes, taking the awareness inside the body to really notice how the movements feel within the body. Now let's come back to a nice steady spine. We're going to straighten our right leg away from the body, bring the toes down to the floor. We want to send our weight back into that right heel. So just breathing into the back of that right leg. And then from here, we're going to float that right leg off the floor. We're going to take it over to the left and we're going to bring the sole of the foot down to the floor. We're going to inhale as we lift the right hand up to the sky and just hold it here. Maybe take the gaze up to the fingertips. Lower belly gently drawing in, grounding down to the sole of that right foot. Keep the face nice and soft. Notice if we're holding the breath, keep the breath moving. And let's slowly bring that right hand all the way down. Sweep the right knee underneath the hip. Straighten the left leg away from the body. Toes down to the floor. Send the weight into that left heel. Nice deep breathing. And let's flow the left foot off the floor. Take it over to the right. Bring the sole of the foot down. Inhale as we lift the left hand off the floor. And again, we can take our gaze up to the fingertips here. Lower belly gently drawing in. Nice steady breath. And let's slowly bring that left hand down. Sweep the left knee back underneath the hip. Let's take the knees nice and wide. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Bring the toes to touch. And as we exhale, let's send the hips back. Here we can bring the hands one on top of the other and gently rest the forehead onto the back of the hand. So just taking a moment here in our child's pose. It's a nice option here to breathe into the back of the body. So imagine if you had a pair of hands on the back ribs here, you want to breathe into that pair of hands. Nice deep breaths. Body nestled gently between the thighs. And let's slowly begin to lift up. So let's bring the knees back underneath the hips. Let's take the hands a few inches forward, spread the fingers wide, tuck the toes under. We're going to breathe in as we lift the hips up and back. Coming into our downward facing dog, we can take the legs a little bit wider. So take up some space with the lower body and have a nice deep pedal through the heels, a lovely little sway into the hips. 
nice and gently. So no rush into the movements. You're just taking these movements nice and steady. Spreading the fingers nice and wide, that tiny little softness in the elbows. Nice amount of space in the palms of the hands. And from here, let's steady our feet. We're gonna inhale as we look forward. Exhale as we lightly soften our knees. And as we breathe, we're gonna step the feet all the way up to the hands. We're gonna take the feet nice and wide. So take the feet at least to the width of the mat. Outside edges parallel with the sides of the mat. And then we're gonna bend into the knees generously as the body comes towards the thighs. Here we can catch a hold of our elbows and gently sway from side to side. It's a nice way to release any tension in the lower spine. Nice decompression of the lower back. We're just allowing the upper body to be heavy. Have a little shake out of the head, a little nod backwards and forwards. We can begin to soften through the toes, find that nice foundation through the soles of the feet. And let's release the arms down. Keep the knees soft as we press through the feet, breathe in as we roll the body all the way up. So the head's gonna be the last thing to rise. And then step into the center of our mat. So let's have our feet together. Let's interlace our fingers. We're going to press the palms away, we're going to breathe in as we float the arms up, and as we exhale, we're going to lean the upper body over to the right. Lower belly gently drawing in, keep the toes nice and soft. It's a nice little lateral flexion of the spine. It's a lovely stretch first thing in the morning, nice way to open up the inner body. Let's inhale as we lift up, exhale as we take it over to the other side. It's a nice full body stretch here. Keep the breath moving, face nice and relaxed. Lovely, let's inhale as we lift the body up. Exhale as we relax the arms down. Have a little roll out the shoulders. And let's step towards the front of our mat. So we want to be about a foot away from the front of our mat. We're going to roll the shoulders open, palms face forward. And then we're going to soften into our knees, sending our hips back and breathing as we float the arms up in line with the sides of the body. So our Ukkatasana, our lovely chair pose. So here we want to look down and see the toes over our knees. If not, we want to send the hips back a little bit further. We're going to take another deep breath in here. And as we exhale, we're going to sink a little bit deeper, relax the shoulders, take the hands forward, taking our gaze through the hands. So our Ada Ukkadasana, nice deep breaths here. It's a lovely way of building a little bit of strength into our thighs, a bit of strength into the legs, nice foundation to the feet. And from here, we're going to softly bring the fingertips down to the floor. We're going to start to lift the tailbone as we fold the body in towards the legs. So here we can keep the knees nice and soft. So here we have an option. We can catch a hold of our calf muscles. We can have the hands down onto the floor, whatever feels nice for our own body. So once we've found that space where the body says that's enough, we find those edges, maybe in the backs of the legs, maybe into the lower back. So we just ease into that space of the breath. Nice deep breaths. Nice and gentle. And then from here, let's soften the knees, catch a hold of our hips, press through the feet, breathe in as we lift the body up. A little roll out the shoulders, and let's take the feet nice and wide. So we think of the length of our own leg line on the floor beneath our feet. That'll make it nice and individual for our own bodies. And from here, we're gonna start by spinning out on our left heel. So left heel in line with the back arch, hips are facing me, take a deep breath in, arms wide, and as we exhale, we're gonna bend into that left knee. Shoulders down away from the ears, all the awareness down to the fingertips in the left hand, our Vira Padrasana too. So nice softness to the toes. So here we've pressed down through the soles of the feet and gently draw the feet apart. We'll feel that energy sending all the way up into the hips. From here, let's breathe in as we straighten that left leg. Exhale as we lean the body forward, float the left hand down, shin, floor, top of the foot, wherever's comfortable. And then let's take that right arm up to the sky. So shoulder nice and open, space across the chest. Nice steady ground in through the soles of the feet and maybe taking our gaze up to the sky if that's comfortable on our neck. That trikonasana, nice deep breaths. Slow the breath down. Let's take a nice deep breath in. 
Exhale as we look down to the floor. Press your feet as we breathe and lift the upper body. Exhale as we bend back into that left knee. Bend the left elbow, forearm rest on the thighs, sweeping the back arm up and over. That internal rotation of that upper arm and taking our gaze up to the fingertips. So a lovely side angle pose, maybe sinking a little bit deeper into that front thigh. Engaging from the outside into that back foot all the way up the side of the body. Nice steady breath, softness in the face. Press to the feet, breathe in as we lift up, taking the arms nice and wide, and then straighten through that left leg, turn both feet to face me, relax the arms down, let's take the feet a little bit wider. So toes slightly pointing in, we're going to roll the shoulders back, breathe in as we lift the chest, exhale as we fold forward, hands down to the floor, inhale as we lengthen the spine, exhale as we fold the body in, nice deep forward fold. Breathe in nice and smooth, hold it steady. So maybe taking the weight slightly forward, gentle lift into the hips. And inhale as we come back to the center. Exhale as we catch a hold of the hips, pressure the feet. Breathe in as we lift the body up. Relax the shoulders, maybe bring the feet in a little bit closer. And then we're gonna spin out on our right heel. So again, that right heel's in line with the back arch, hips are facing me, deep breath in, arms are wide. As we exhale, we're gonna lean the upper body to the right, float the right hand down, maybe catching a hold of the shin, the foot, the floor, whatever, that's nice and comfortable, and then we're taking that left arm up to the sky. We can take our gaze all the way up to the fingertips. Nice deep breaths here, all the way down into the base of the lungs. So when we move into these positions, we use the breath to really find space and to just soften the body into the posture, that stiram sukham asanam, that nice steadiness and ease within our practice. Powerfully take a nice deep breath in. Exhale as we look down, pressure the feet, breathe in as we lift the upper body. And as we exhale, we're gonna bend into that right knee, shoulders down away from the ears. Take a bend in the right elbow, forearm rest on the thighs, sweep the back arm up and over. That little internal rotation of the upper arm, engaging from the outside edge of that back foot, finding that lovely line of energy all the way up the side of the body. And again, breathing into that space, nice full side body stretch. Lovely, deep breath in as we lift up. Take the arms wide, straighten through that right leg, turn both feet to face me. This time we're gonna interlace our fingers around the back of the body. Inhale as we lift through the chest, exhale as we fold it forward, floating the hands up and over. So here taking the weight slightly forward, fire up the thighs, lift the tailbone, lightness in the heels, nice deep breaths. Lovely, let's press in the feet, breathe in as we lift the body up. Relax the arms, we're gonna turn the heels in, turn the toes out, about 45 degrees, and then we're gonna bend into our knees. Little sway from side to side. So keep the shoulders drawing back and down, that nice element of space across the chest, and then we're gonna press the knees open in line with the feet. Again, we're gonna interlace our fingers. This time, press the palms forward, breathe in as we lift the arms up. Exhale as we sink it a little bit deeper. So we can float the toes off the floor, nice engagement through the soles of the feet. Soften the face, nice relaxed breath. So we ease into our movement, nice and gently. Lovely, let's press through the feet, breathe in as we lift the body. Exhale as we release the arms, catch our hold of the hips, turn the heels out. Inhale as we draw the shoulders back, lift the chest, keep the hands on the hips as we exhale, fold it forward. Lovely, lifting the tailbone, lightness in the heels, engaging in the balls of the big toes, nice steady breath. Lovely, pressure the feet, inhale as we lift the upper body. Exhale as we relax the arms down. Let's spin out on that right heel. We're going to bend into that right knee. 
Nice deep bend, so we're sinking that front thigh down. We're going to take a deep breath in as we take the arms wide. And then we're going to windmill the hands over. We're going to frame that front foot. We're going to lift the back heel. I'm going to lightly step the right foot back into our downward dog. We're going to have a nice little pedal to the heel, lovely little sway into the hips, nice and gently. So no need to rush to the movements, just open into the lower body. And then from here we're going to inhale as we look forward, exhale as we soften our knees, breathe in as we step the feet all the way up to the hands, lengthen through the spine before folding in. And let's pressure the feet, float the arms up, look to our thumbs, exhale as we release the arms down. Standing toward the front of our mat, take a deep breath in as we float the arms up, look to our thumbs. As we exhale, fold, bringing the hands down to the floor. We're going to breathe in as we lengthen through the spine, look forward. And as we exhale, we're going to step the right foot back. And we're going to bring the back heel down. Keep the front knee bent, pressure the feet. Breathe in as we lift the upper body, facing forward, palms facing in. So a lovely Veda Bhadrasana one. So arms in line with the ears here, drawing the lower belly in. Holding it steady without holding the breath. Lovely. From here, let's release the arms down. We're going to catch a hold of our elbows and the small of our back. We're going to breathe in as we straighten through that left leg, lifting the chest, and as we exhale, we're going to fold the body forward as we draw the left hip back, bringing the body down towards that left leg. And we're just going to hold it here. Nice, steady breath. See if we can relax through the toes. Lovely. Let's soften through that left knee. Bring the hands down to the floor. Frame the front foot. Step it back into our downward facing dog. So again, nice little pedal to the heels. Look sway into the hips. Nice and steady. From here, let's inhale as we look forward, exhale as we soften our knees, breathe in as we step the feet all the way up to the hands, and let's lengthen the spine before folding in towards the legs. Pressure the feet as we float the arms up, look to our thumbs, stand in tall, exhale as we release the arms down. And again, breathe in, float the arms up, look to our thumbs, exhale as we fold, lightly bringing the hands down. Inhale as we lengthen the spine, and as we exhale, we're going to set the left foot lightly back. So again, the front knee's bent, bring the back heel down, pressure the feet as we breathe and lift the upper body, facing forward, arms reaching high, palms facing in. Vira Bhadrasana 1. Lower belly gently drawn in, so we've got a nice protection on our lower spine, and just holding our nice and steady. From here, we're going to release the arms down as we straighten through the right leg. Catch a hold of our elbows in the small of the back. Breathe in as we lift into the chest. And as we exhale, we're going to scoop the right hip back. As we fold the body forward, bringing our head down towards the knee. So again, once we're there, holding it steady without holding the breath. From here, let's soften into that right knee. Release the arms down to the floor, hands framing that front foot. Lift the back heel, step the right foot back. Have a little pedal to the heels, a little sway into the feet. Sway into the hips. And let's inhale as we look forward. Exhale as we lightly soften our knees. And let's breathe in as we step the feet all the way up to the hands. Really lengthen through the spine, taking our gaze forward and then folding the body in towards the legs. Pressure the feet, let's float the arms up, stand tall, look into our thumbs. Exhale as we release the arms down. Lovely, let's come to the center of our mat. So we're gonna begin on our left foot, come into our balance. Let's breathe in as we lift the right knee nice and high, and let's open the hip to the side, bringing the sole of the foot in either below or above the knee. So we wanna avoid pressure into the knee. Midline of the body remains nice and long, shoulders are nice and soft, and let's bring the hands into prayer. So holding it steady here, softness in the face. So we want to find that nice, steady focus. 
what they call our drishti, our single pointed focus, honing the mind into that single point to really steady the balance, steady the body. Nice gentle breath. And let's inhale as we float the arms up. Exhale as we take the arms wide. Shoulders soft away from the ears. Nice deep breaths. And let's breathe in as we float the arms up. Bring the palms to touch. Exhale as we bring the hands down. And let's float that right knee forward. And let's lower that right foot down to the floor. Let's do the same on the other side. So steady that right foot. Let's breathe in as we lift the left knee nice and high. Open that hip to the side, sole of the foot in either below or above the knee. Midline remains nice and long, shoulders nice and soft. Let's take our hands into prayer. So again, nice deep breaths here. So finding that steady focus. And let's breathe in as we float the arms up. Exhale as we take the arms wide. Soften into the posture, nice deep breaths. Okay, let's breathe in as we float the arms up. Bring the palms down in line with the chest. Inhale as we float that left knee, bring it round in front. And let's gently lower that left leg down. And have a little shake off of the legs. Lovely. Let's come stand in front of our mat. Let's have our feet hip width apart. Let's roll the shoulders open, palms face forward. Take a deep breath in as we float the arms up. Look into our thumbs. As we exhale, we fold, bringing our hands down to the floor. Inhale as we lengthen the spine, looking forward. And as we exhale, we're going to step it back into our downward facing dog. A nice little pedal to the heels, little sway into the hips. And then from here, let's step our feet to the width of our mat. Slightly turn the heels in, slightly turn the toes out. And we're going to soften our knees. It's almost like coming into frog legs. We're going to walk the hands back as we sink the tailbone down towards the floor, coming into our malasana, our yogi squat. So here we can bring the elbows to the insides of the thighs, bring the palms to touch. So bringing the heels of the hands down in line with the elbows. We're drawing the chest forward and up, shoulders away from your ears. And we can gently close or soften the eyes. So again, taking that time to breathe. Nice deep breaths. taking our time nice and slowly and then from here let's bring our hands down to the floor we're going to step our feet back one at a time coming down onto our knees and again we're going to take our knees nice and wide have the big toes touching and we're going to send the hips back to the heels and again the option here we can bring the hands one on top of the other Bring the head to rest on the back of the hands, just relaxing the upper body. Just taking the body in between the thighs, just allowing everything to settle. And just slowing the breath down, nice deep breaths. slowly sit up nice and gently let's come sit down on our seats I'm going to start by taking the legs nice and wide so toes pointing towards the sky nice amount of space in front of us 
So remember here, we want to maintain that length in the lower spine. So let's just bring the fingertips down to the floor, soften the shoulders away from the ears. We're going to breathe in as we lift and lengthen through the chest. And as we exhale, we're simply going to walk the hands forward. So maybe coming down to the forearms, if the floor is, if that feels comfortable, if not, keep the elbows lifted, that's absolutely fine. Just finding that space, we're not worried about getting really close to the floor. We just want that nice openness down in the lower spine. And we just want to allow the body to settle into a comfortable space. We might have a little bit of tension on the legs, into the lower back. That element of challenge, which is absolutely fine. We just want to breathe into that wherever we are. So often when we come down to our seated positions, we tune into that yin element of our practice. When we take the positions a little bit deeper, maybe hold them a little bit longer. And really tune into those spaces where we can feel the postures within the body. slowly breathe in as we walk the hands back up we're going to bring the feet to touch soles the feet together knees drifting out to the sides and we're going to interlace our fingers sweeping the hands underneath the feet so creating like a little basket with our hands so from here we're going to draw the shoulders back as we breathe in and lift the chest and as we exhale we're going to draw the chest down towards the soles of the feet so here we can use the elbows on the insides of the legs so gently ease the legs open a little bit deeper Again, maintaining length on the lower spine, shoulders away from the ears, keep the face nice and relaxed, nice deep breaths. Lovely, let's breathe in as we lift up, nice and gently. Let's take the legs forward, toes pointing towards the sky. So here, if you feel you need a strap or a belt, or if you want to use the strap or the belt, that's absolutely fine. If not, we don't need to catch a hold of the feet, we can catch a hold of the legs, so just allow the arms to come to the floor. So nice forward bend, wherever we are, we're going to inhale as we lengthen. Exhale, lead with the heart as we draw the body forward and down. As soon as we find that space where the body says that's enough, we can allow the head to gently soften. So normally here we would take the gaze forward, using the toes as our drift in our focus. But here we're going to really lengthen through the back of the neck, just allowing the back of the neck to follow on from the spine. And just holding it here, nice deep forward fold, nice deep breaths. Let's breathe in as we lift up, nice and gently. Take a bend in our right knee, sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh. Again, coming forward, either catching a hold of the leg, maybe using a belt or taking a hold of the foot. Breathe in into lengthen and exhale, lead with the heart, draw the body forward and then down before softening the head towards the knee. At Janu Shashasana. Nice deep breath. Inhale as we lift up. Keep the legs where they are. Take our right hand behind our seat, catching the right knee with the left hand. We want to breathe in to lift and lengthen. Exhale as we rotate round. Nice upper body twist. And then gently release. Straighten that right leg. Bend the left knee, sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh. Again, your option may be catching a hold of the foot or maybe having the hands gently either side of the leg. We're going to inhale as we find length. Exhale, lead with the heart, drawing the body forward and down and then softening the head towards the knee. So keep the shoulders away from the ears, that space in the back of the neck, lower belly gently drawing in. We want to maintain that level of engagement but relaxed attention on the body. Let's breathe in as we lift up. 
taking our left hand behind our seat, catch the knee with the right hand, inhale to lift and lengthen, exhale to rotate round looking over the shoulder. So we're really beginning to slow everything down now, nice and gently. Ah, let's release. Take a bend in our knees. We're going to bring the soles of the feet to the floor. We're going to walk the feet nice and close in towards the body. I'm going to wrap our arms around our legs, catching a hold of our elbows. So here we're going to lift our heels, walk the toes back in a little bit closer, and then we're going to lean back and we're going to float the feet off the floor. So we can gently close or soften the eyes. So balancing down on our sacrum, just allowing the body to soften into the space. It's a nice balance to find calmness in the body. And let's gently open the eyes, lowering the feet gently down to the floor. Then let's come all the way down to lie down on So coming down onto the back of the body, let's draw the knees gently in, have a little rock from side to side. And we're going to reach our arms through inside our legs, catching the outside edges of the feet. We're going to gently draw the knees down towards the earth, bring the soles of the feet parallel to the sky, and then gently rocking from side to side. So a nice happy baby pose. So a nice relaxation through the back of the body, just easing into the muscles inside of the spine, all the way down into the lower back. So again, this posture, really nice posture for the end of the day. So we find that tightness in our lower back down into the hips and the thighs. It's a really nice way to release that space. So we can hold this for a nice length of time. Just whatever feels nice for our own body. And let's release the feet. We're going to bring the soles of the feet down to the floor. We're going to take the arms nice and wide. Take the feet to the width of the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as we exhale, we're going to soften the knees down to the right as we take our gaze over to the left. So a nice lower body rotation as we slowly begin to close our practice. Breathe in as we bring the knees back to the centre. Exhale as we soften the knees over to the left. Take our gaze over to the right. Nice deep breaths down into the belly. So breathe in into that rotation down in the lower body. Slowly breathe in as we bring the knees back to the centre. Soles of the feet hip width apart, arms down the sides of the body, palms facing down. Press through the back of the body as we breathe in and lift the hips. And just engaging through the inside lines of the feet. And from here we're going to breathe in as we float the arms up and over, reaching the fingertips behind us, a little bit of pressure between the tops of the shoulders and the floor. Let's take a nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, let's slowly bring the arms up and over as we gently lower the back of the body down to the floor. And let's straighten our legs along the floor. Let's take our feet at least hip width apart, allowing the feet to soften out to the sides. A little wiggle in the hips, allowing the back of the body to become comfortable, taking the arms down the sides of the body. And with the palms facing up. So settling into our Shavasana. So let's gently close or soften the eyes. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And release that breath with a big sigh. So 
that sigh releasing any control of the breath to allow the body to soften into its own natural rhythm and allow the belly to become soft and spacious allow the legs and the arms to be heavy In all the muscles of the body, from the toes and the soles of the feet, relaxing through the ankles and the knees, softening all the muscles in the back of the body, leading up into the shoulders, as you gently soften the back of the neck and relax the back of the head. All the muscles around the eyes and the jaw become soft and relaxed allowing the eyes themselves to soften into the back of the head. Allowing the tongue to release away from the roof of the mouth. Just noticing the sounds that surround us. Aware of the space around the body, of our environment. And just notice where the edges of the body greet that space that surrounds us. And see if we can soften those edges. And just really allow the body to become part of the environment. Relaxing into the breath. As we allow the body to surrender to the earth, to release all effort and control. And to completely let go. Feel free to keep this Shavasana going for as long as you wish. And when you're ready, beginning to deepen the breath, just finding some movement through the fingers and into the toes. Remember, you have the option to stay here. But for those of us that are ready, let's take a deep breath in and stretch the whole of the body. And let's gently draw the knees in, hugging the knees in, have a nice rock from side to side. And let's roll over onto our side, easing up into a nice comfortable seat. And let's take our hands together. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And release that breath with a big sigh. Thank you very much, everybody. Wherever you are today, I hope you enjoyed the practice. Thank you very much for practicing with me. Please feel free to subscribe. Uh, new yoga each week. Um, and just enjoy your day, your evening, whatever time is in front of you now. Thank you very much.